All right, so here's just a quick update of uh, what's going on with the large 3D printer. I am definitely running into some snags, as you can see from some of the previous videos. But uh, I am uh, definitely working on something, hopefully that's promising. You know, the belts, belt drive, all that stuff. It keeps missing steps. When you start getting bigger printers, is when you start having serious issues, missing steps and all that stuff. So even though that I'm still running on um, little NEMA 17 motors, I've figured out a way to start using the bigger stepper motors. Hang on, let me turn this fan off. You know, I'm... I'm uh, starting to get a little iffy on this, you know, doing 12 volt. I'm, uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm actually starting to stop. I'm not, I'm not doing anything with this right now because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm figuring out that maybe the belts are not helping so what I've done I'm making a smaller version because I want to know for myself and you can see that I am using those drivers where it comes right through it but I'm also using the TB 6600s and so far, what I'm coming across is this thing is, <laughs> it, 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 it really works better. The, the, the uh, ball screws are, I think, are far superior. But I'll, I can't say it for now, but I'm still putting this together. You know, I'm, <laughs> oh, another thing. You cannot use a, uh, threaded rod already believe me i just tried you have to turn up the the millimeters per per inch or or per second you got to crank that thing way up it's not gonna work so if you guys are going to try that don't waste your time i'm just telling you don't even try it don't buy it don't do it i mean i sat there and made you know a bracket to hold the the um the, the nut and all that, do not waste your time. Seriously. I'm just telling you, you cannot turn it up. I, you know, and this is running on 24 volts. It's not going to work. Um, but, like I said, I'm, I'm putting a smaller version together so I can figure out how to get this to work because this is where I want to be, not this. Don't get me wrong, that thing prints jam up. I'm not, <laughs> I won't say, I, I, I won't say anything bad about it. The Ender 3 Pro is a bad machine. You know, you gotta tweak it here and there, but I don't wanna have to keep doing that like I'm doing with this. This is driving me nuts. That's why I just stopped and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do a smaller version of what I'm looking for with this. You know, and in my previous videos, I mean, see, that there's the belt drive. Don't get me wrong, it, it works fine, but the bigger, the bigger the bed you got, the more weight you got, the more steps it starts skipping. And that's, that's why I quit working on that, and that's why I'm building this, so that I can figure out what is going on here. I don't want to skip nothing. I mean, I want to, when I print stuff, I want to be able to print, you know, like, I can't say perfect because there ain't no such thing as perfect, but that's, I want as close as possible, you know, there's the, the board, there's the, the uh, controller and all that, but you can see I'm using a NEMA 23 with a ball screw and a big ball screw. That's a 16 millimeter and these are 16 millimeter, uh, not the rods, but the uh, rails. 
So I'm, I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. I want to figure this thing out. And I will figure it out, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to continue to keep, keep pulling my hair out of my head trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong with the big 3D printer. So, uh, well, that's just a little update. Just so you guys know that I'm, I'm still working on it, but like I said, I'm building a whole nother one. I want to know if this is going to work. So far, I've tested some parts out, and yeah, it's working. But the point, what's not working is using an all-thread rod for your Z-axis. No, forget it, guys. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, don't waste your time. I'm telling you, do not waste your time. So I've got other parts coming. They won't be here till next week. So I'm going to change this all out. I'm going to change it to the, the, big, the, the big ball screws. So... You can see that I've been working on it hard. You know, this is no no easy task. I want to know for myself if, if ball screws are actually going to be the ticket. So, all right, guys. I will keep you updated. Appreciate it. See you.